Hello investors and traders, today let's talk about the stock market, the S&P 500, the indexes and about in the economic indicators. So let's start with the S&P 500, we can see that now it's traded lower than 4000, uh, so in my mind here it was a decreasing channel now in a correction, so it was the first wave, the second, the third, the fourth and I'm expecting another move down, I'm expecting to see S&P 500 about uh, uh, 35 uh, uh, zero, 0 so of course uh, we now in a uh, environment of elevated interest rate the fed uh, uh, telling us directly that it's going to increase uh, its uh, fed fund rate now it's 47.75 uh, uh, and the, uh, the expectations is that it will uh, hold it uh, uh, higher than five five uh, percent. Of course, it's, it's a lot. So generally, uh, when uh, the interest in the environment of interest hiking, it's a very tough uh, period and time for the stock market. And the the driver for growth, I think, is uh, now is very limited. The Nasdaq, the IT company sector, also is uh, uh, up about uh, ten percent since the beginning of the year. The uh, the nearest level is uh, 11,000, uh, then we have 10,000 and of course uh, about 9,000. So I, I think it's, uh, uh, may, we may see the NASDAQ a little bit lower uh, towards the, the, the end of the year uh, because of course the, the interest. Let's have a look on this chart. Uh, so uh, it's telling us that now the, the market, uh, the stocks are still ve very very expensive, the tech stocks relative performance uh, at elevated levels, NASDAQ 100 still traded near dot-com peak despite the uh, 2022 sell-off. So we see, yeah, it's the same, actually the same level uh, uh, in spite of the, the sell-off here. So generally speaking, of course, its ratio was uh, okay here. It was uh, uh, one, even one, 1.5, well, maybe two, yeah, two, it's okay, but now it's, uh, uh, more than three, the ratio of uh, NASDAQ to S&P 500 index. So it's telling us, of course, that the uh, the uh, S&P 500 stocks are not uh, uh, not uh, not cheap at all. The next chart here, look, we have the Fed uh, Federal uh, Fund target. Uh, rate it's here the red one and the black of course S&P 500 so now we're traded here so we see that uh, history shows that stocks have more uh, room to fall uh, US stocks never bottom before the Fed uh, stop hiking so see, here we see that the, the Fed uh, continue to decrease it, the interest rates and after this only we see that the indexes uh, continue to continue to raise here also we see a, a decreasement in the interest rate and uh, only after the button we still we see uh, a long period of growth so now we are in a period of hiking uh, interest rates and we even don't uh, uh, we didn't get the button so for me uh, I don't see uh, any, any any period here here we see it's uh, hiking uh, but here ah, by the way it's continue to grow the the stock market here also the period of hiking but still it was some kind of flat so uh, generally speaking uh, i think that uh, maybe this year we should wait uh, this chart is directly telling us that uh, this uh, if i'm not mistaken the last year the s p performance was uh, down more than 20 uh, percent so this year may also be very tough i'm not uh, uh, easy time uh, and year for the uh, for the US uh, stocks. Let's uh, move uh, forward to the other assets. So here we see the B2C, the Bitcoin. It's performed since the beginning of the year more than 40%. It's one of my big bets. And my target is uh, 30, 30,000. So a very clean and very good uh, performance uh, we see at this year. So generally speaking, uh, now uh, we see a small correction. Uh, in the Bitcoin, but uh, generally speaking, I'm expected to see uh, the B2C a little bit, uh, of course, uh, higher. And my target here is uh, these uh, resistance levels, 30,000. 30, the U US, um, it, not the US, the, the brand, the oil price. So see, we see it about 81 bucks uh, per 
uh, barrel. Uh, generally speaking, look, I'm uh, see impulse here. It was the first way, the second, the third. Now we have a correction, the fourth way. But then I'm expecting to see the the oil price higher than 120. So I'm expecting to see the five wave five wave, uh, wave move here. Uh, by the way, usually if it's a real impulse, we have uh, the second wave uh, 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 sharp and the fourth wave is supposed to be flat. So uh, it uh, looks like it's, it's uh, very, uh, very probable that this scenario is uh, the right one. So uh, generally speaking, I'm expecting maybe towards the end of this year to see the stock mo uh, 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 the oil price higher than 100 bucks. Uh, the VIX, the index volatility, we see that it's uh, jumped, ju jumped a little bit. Last, uh, uh, let me see. Uh, last week it jumped, uh, look, uh, more than 20%. So the trader, the investors, uh, in the uh, worries, the of course the all the stuff with the interest rate, with the uh, high inflation. I remind you that the uh, inflation in the US is now more than six uh, percent. It's of course uh, it's a lot. It's not uh, eight, nine, like eight like it was in the previous year, but still uh, six point four is uh, really a lot. It's very high, uh, high inflation area. And let's have a look at today in Nvidia. Nvidia stock. Uh, it's a technical and fundamental analysis. So look in my mind. Uh, uh, let's uh, have a look on the chart. Uh, here, I think it was a correction, ABC move, clean ABC move, a correctional one. Uh, it was a general support level about 120. Uh, by the way, using the uh, Fibonacci levels, it's a great uh, ratio here. If I'm not mistaken, let me check. Uh, so here, usually, the wave C is. Uh, uh, 160% from a uh, wave A. So here, here we see it's uh, uh, it's worked, uh, uh, and of course uh, here it's a great uh, ABC move, like in like in, uh, written in the book. So the ABC finished. By the way, the wave A it was uh, clean uh, impulse, uh, correction impulse with five waves, and now I'm expecting uh, maybe uh, to see Nvidia higher. All the hype is the artificial intelligence nvidia uh, up in this uh, year more than uh, 30 percent uh, uh, many invest funds invest companies telling that nvidia uh, can be the main beneficiary f uh, from the all this uh, all this hype all this stuff uh, connected with the artificial artificial intelligence uh, the chat gpt and I, I guess you heard about it uh, but I think uh, maybe maybe they are mistaken because it may uh, take time, of course. But usually with Skype, somebody uh, earn some uh, uh, like trading, earn the money on this. But uh, if we'll check the RSI, the momentum indicator now is, is 62. So the now Nvidia uh, in today it's uh, overbought, and of course. Uh, the momentum indicator telling that we may see a correction in this stock. So let's have a look on NVIDIA fundamental parameters. We can see total score is uh, 91, it's quite high score. Its financial stability, uh, its financial position is also very strong. In that will be the ratio less than 2 interest coverage uh, 28. Any problems uh, with that for the company? By the way, the Altman's score is 18, so the probability as default is very, very, very low. So I uh, yes, I see the uh, financial stability is uh, great uh, for this NVIDIA gross margin 57 at margin 20 so very high marginality the EPS earning per share and uh, total revenue for the next five years uh, about double digits it's about 10% uh, and 6 and expected to grow but here the problem is the evaluation P ratio is 87 and the PS is 18 so uh, look it's uh, very very expensive now we I will check the historical evaluation, but uh, of course, in my mind, it's a lot. I can tell you that every stock that uh, has pay price per share ratio more than eight, so it's uh, uh, very, very expensive. And of course, the liquidity ratio, current ratio, and the quick ratio, both of them higher than one, so it's very great and very stable company. Any problems with liquidity? 
By the way, the company also uh, uh, performed share buyback uh, last year, like in 21, it, uh, it was uh, about uh, 4% from its uh, uh, share sales technic. Let's uh, check the, quart uh, the quarterly data. Yeah, the last quarter, the company, uh, yeah, the company uh, making a buyback and by the, by, uh, by the way, its uh, shares buyback ratio is increasing, so it's a good sign, but but let's uh, check the PS ratio. Yeah, we see it's uh, 18 here. So historically, um, I think the uh, good uh, moment to buy the stock it was uh, here in the correction of the stock market in in the end of 2018. It was uh, about uh, seven seven PS ratio. It's uh, it's uh, it's okay. It's quite good uh, on the Corona uh, when the Corona crisis. Uh, uh, was yeah it was here it's over 12 30 and not uh, not uh, uh, very cheap but uh, now it's even uh, even uh, higher than the corona crisis so it's 18 so of course uh, i think of course it's very very expensive stock uh, let's check the p ratio yeah it's 80 87 so uh, also a lot in the end of uh, 2018 it was uh, 17 so I, I guess it was the best point to buy the stock maybe the corona uh, the corona is also was 46 now it's twice uh, twice uh, uh, expensive so generally speaking uh, nvidia is a great company now you see the all the hype is the artificial intelligence but uh, uh, first of all, uh, the technical analysis is telling us that uh, now we sto the stock is over uh, bought. Uh, so you may see a correction in the stock, the valuation, the PE ratio, PS is very, very expensive. And of course, uh, generally on the market, the S&P, the NASDAQ, uh, we, I don't see any drivers for grow in the uh, future quarters. And we may see uh, another correction in the stock market because the, the Fed position, uh, the Fed view that uh, all the traders and investors expecting that the Fed will continue its uh, uh, financial policy tightening and will continue to increase uh, interest rates. And of course, in the such period, in such uh, environment, when we see interest hiking, um, the stock market uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's just it's simply hard for the stock market to grow. So it's my point, it's my view um, of the stock market analysis for now. So if you like this video, of course, don't forget to subscribe, press the like button and uh, see you on the next time. Bye.